Hi, it's Katie, and welcome to my corner of the world. Well, today I have my Tri Treats box to share with you. And yes, I have Minna, well, he's jumped out now, uh, who has decided to Ow. join me. <laughs> yeah. So, if you are interested in finding out what is in this box, come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. My name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxing. Subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy. I also do a lot of hauls of clothing, makeup, food, lifestyle, you name it. I, If you shop for it, I have probably hauled it. it so, so, if that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button down there. It is that red button. It is completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on that bell notification over there. there. It's that little bell right next to the subscribe button. That will let you know when I have new content and that's gone up. Also let you know, oh, if I have giveaways. Any giveaways will be listed down in the description. Okay, so today I have my Try Treats box. Uh, this is from um, treats. It is international. It's very similar to like Universal Yums. Each month you go to a different country or countries and get to try their snacks. Next. Um, I get the, the standard box which is $14.95 a month. You can get the premium box which is $24.95. The standard is five or more snacks and the premium is ten or more. All right, so let's go ahead and see where we are going. Ooh, look at that. We are in Taipei, Taiwan. Wow. Oh, look at that beautiful sky. Hey, what a beautiful picture. Welcome to Taiwan. This month's treats come to you from Taiwan, a small country located off the eastern shore of China. Uh, its largest city and capital, Taipei, is a bustling city famous for its night markets and beautiful Chinese temples. Its most famous skyscraper, the Taipei 101, and, which is this one, and is one of the tallest buildings in the world. In this month's box, you'll find a selection of Taiwan's finest treats. Within those treats, you'll find a mix of sweet and savory, ranging from fun treats like volcano popping candy, ooh, a savory treats like baked rice cakes and and traditional treats. One of these savory items, the Tenkin Aibachin rice cracker, is one of the most popular snacks in Asia. Uh, among some of the traditional snacks, you'll find the Ha Flake, which has antioxidant properties, and Sachma, uh, a flour cake with a satisfying chewy texture and light sweet taste. Taiwan is an example of how a diverse how diverse a culture's taste can be. In fact, you will experience this as you try these treats. Chai Hao, which is Bon Appetit. Hey, really cool. All excited to go to Taiwan. And, and, and then it also gives you a recipe for Chinese mooncakes. And on this page, it, on this card, it also tells you a little bit more about, Jap about Taiwan and some Taiwanese facts and did you know type things. So if you have kids and wanted to kind of do like a little social studies unit or something, and now that if they're still home, um, it'd be a great way to uh, try and explore different cultures. There's, and then they also have, have listed all of the treats here and then you can mark them as like best, worst, or weirdest. This. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different snacks this month. Really cool. Okay, so let's open it up and see what our snacks are. There. So we definitely got a full box of lots of treats to try here. There. And this gives me an idea of what everything is. So I'm going to pick this one up first. This is the Chechen Ichiban Rice Crackers by Want Want. And uh, light, crispy rice crackers made from rice, soy flour, cornmeal, and rice flour. Originally developed in 1983, they've become a hit and are now one of the most popular treats in Asia. 
to me they almost look like club crackers so let's give them a try and see hey, what makes these such a big hit in Taiwan so they definitely don't have the consistency of them really flaky mmm it's really good it's really like it starts out really um, kind of sweet and then gets like salty hey so oh I can see why it's a popular snack and you definitely get plenty to try so if you're getting this like for or your family you definitely have a lot that you can try amongst you okay and the next thing I'm pulling out is coconut candy by family coconut candy by family around hard coconut candies they're packaged in a bag and each piece is individually sealed so you can see that here making these candies a great treat to pack into lunches or enjoy on the go I love a coconut so I am excited to try these these they actually look like a Werther's almost they are a hard candy I definitely I get the coconut but I almost get like that very like creamy like caramel flavoring also in there so yummy and again then I have plenty to share here okay next I have seaweed aid lava by honeybee the seaweed lava by honeybee is a delicious snack made from roasted seaweed seasoned and roasted to perfection crunchy in texture and savory in taste Roasted seaweed is a favorite in Asia. Let me get that out. So let's try it. I know like, like um, Costco carries like a roasted seaweed that people love. I have to say I tried it once. I was not a fan. So we will um, see how this is. Um, maybe this will be better. Maybe not. So very thin layers. Not a fan. I mean, it tastes like like the outer part of sushi, which it is. It's seaweed. Um, but as a snack, this is nothing I would ever grab for. Um, I don't know. Maybe my husband will eat it. I can't imagine the kids are going to like it. It's, yeah. Uh, can't say I'm a fan of that one. Okay. Let's see. Now we have the Hello BB. These are a rice cracker by Hello BB. A round cracker with crispy crunch and savory flavor. They're baked, not fried, and as a result have less calories and fat compared to traditional chips. Well, I'm always happy to have something that has less calories and fat, especially if it has the flavoring. Oh, I have seaweed on me. It's like this. Uh, now it was around. It's okay. I can't say it's my favorite, but took the taste of the seaweed out of my mouth. Happy with that. Okay. Moving along and those it came there were two packs but each pack had two of them in it so so now we have have a ton of these these are the volcano popping candy by family and they are all in strawberry so these are are um Hard candy pieces that pop in your mouth while dissolving. Open up a package, empty it onto your tongue, and enjoy the sweet and delicious fizzle in your mouth. So, like Pop Rocks. I don't know if you can hear all the popping going on, but it's like crazy popping in there. Tastes really good. 
Okay. Two more things. Um, next is the Hall Flakes, and it's the only one you get in the Hall Flakes. By Sanka, are traditional sweets made from the fruit of the hawthorn. Satisfyingly thin and chewy with a light sweet taste, hawthorn has antioxidants with numerous positive health effects, including for the heart. Hmm. Healthy sounds good. Good. It, it feels hard. I'm like, I'm like, totally unsure about this one. Especially when they're telling me it's like thin. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So there are all these like little layers here. All right. Um, and kind of like Necco wafers. That has a little more flavor than Necco wafers. They're good. They're good. I will say not a ton of flavor, but you definitely get that sweet, like fruity a bit at the end. They're good. I could see eating those. those. Okay. And then the last thing is the Sachima, a traditional flower cake snack properly enjoyed in East Asia, popularly enjoyed in East Asia, chewy in texture and sweet in taste. Great example of delicious traditional Asian snack. To me, it looks very much like a Rice crispy. So let's open it up and see. So it breaks uh, not as like chewy as uh, as a Rice crispy treat. But let's see. It has. It almost tastes like vanilla cake, but it has like a slightly different texture. It's drier than I thought it would be. It's not as chewy as like a Rice Krispie would be. It's good. Good. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about this one. Like, I like it. I would eat it. It's hard to describe. Like, it really has like a vanilla cake a taste, but the texture of it is different. It's not as crunchy. It's not as crispy or chewy as a Rice Krispie. Hey, so that was my treats box for January uh, from Taiwan. What did you think? I think some of them were really great. Some of them I was like, not a fan of. Um, but everybody has their own tastes. Yes, Midnight is back again. And let me see if I can angle you down here. There he is. It's, yeah, I'm trying to show you on in the video. Oh, um, yeah, let me know if you've tried any of them, what you liked and didn't like. I Honestly, I think my a favorites, well, I love the coconut candy, the hard candy, and the pop rocks were really fun. Maybe I'm just a kid at heart. All right. All right. So that is it. That is all I have for you today. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.